Welcome to Taylor Morrison. This video series is designed to make your Taylor Morrison homeowner experience even better. Just follow these easy do-it-yourself tips. They may help you save some valuable time and money. This is your toolkit to help you preserve your home and protect your investment. So let's dive in to some home care highlights. Protect and preserve your home like a pro. In this video, let's go through maintenance steps for your landscaping and irrigation. Before we begin, you will need a flathead screwdriver, some pliers, a pipe wrench, a bowl or small bucket, a toothbrush, and some vinegar. When winter strikes, there are certain steps every homeowner must take to protect their irrigation system from freezing. Perhaps the most important element that requires attention is the backflow preventer. A backflow preventer is like a one-way gate that's installed on your home's main water supply. It allows water to flow in one direction, but prevents flow in the opposite direction. Its sole purpose is to keep your municipality's drinking water supply from becoming contaminated. These units are usually located above ground somewhere near an exterior wall. Since they are constructed almost entirely of metal that expands and contracts and constantly exposed to the elements, they are especially prone to damage if neglected. So once you have located the backflow preventer, you will need to interrupt its water supply. In your basement or garage, it should be easy to locate and identify the line that leads to your backflow preventer. Trace the line until it leads you to a shutoff valve which may be attached to a water tree with other valves. There should also be a drain cap near the shutoff valve. Using your pliers, loosen the drain cap and place a bowl or bucket beneath this opening to catch any water that may be left in the water line. Return to your backflow preventer and locate the two test valves. With your flathead screwdriver, carefully turn the screws to open the test valves, releasing any water inside the unit. Next, locate the valve box, which should be sunken somewhere in your yard or near your house. Pry open the lid with your flathead screwdriver and locate the drain valve, which should be next to your zone valves. Open this drain valve to release any remaining water in the line leading from your backflow preventer. A pipe wrench or channel locks may be necessary to loosen the valve. Once the draining is complete, take this opportunity to clean your valves and solenoids. Soil or mineral buildup can often cause your valve's diaphragm to stick in the open or closed position, so preventive maintenance is always a good idea. Begin by carefully twisting off your solenoid to expose the valve diaphragm. Remove the cap, careful to not lose any screws or small parts. Soak a toothbrush in a water and vinegar solution and scrub the diaphragm and the inside of the valve, especially where you might notice mineral deposits forming. Then reassemble. When all water has apparently drained out of the lines, Set all valves on the backflow preventer at a 45 degree angle, half opened and half closed, to prevent water from remaining trapped in the unit. To blow out all the lines in your irrigation system, it is recommended that you contact a professional landscape company to do the job. It is typically performed using compressed air, and damage can result if you do it yourself. Taylor Morrison, homes inspired by you.